Good afternoon everyone, how you all doing today? Murray Minter 75 here. Uh, it's the sixth episode in my prediction series guys. Uh, I do have to apologise for the lateness of it. I did mean to upload it yesterday but unfortunately I had a couple of things to deal with so I'm doing it now before kickoff. Um, so basically you know the script by now, you know I just quickly run through um, all the weekend's fixtures. Give my honest opinion on them, if I get them right fantastic, if not, phew, who really cares guys, it's only a prediction show. Um, also, I just want to say one thing. <laughs> I find it really, really funny the amount of people who are actually like laughing because of it. Yeah, I'm not getting the predictions right. Yeah, guys, it's a prediction show. It's not Super 6. If I get it right, if I was going to get it right, put it this way, I wouldn't be putting it on YouTube. I'd be putting it in the bookies. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that. So, but anyway, that's for, uh, you know, all my... Uh, Bigger fans. But anyway, let's get right into this. Starting off with Ross County against Hearts. Guys, Ross County are fighting for the ice at the bottom of the table just now. So every game between now and the end of the season for them is going to be a cup final. Yeah, they're playing a Hearts team just now who are probably in with a uh, good bit of form just now. You know, there's no getting away from that. Hearts have really had a wee bit of form. They're stopping goals going in at the back as well. Um, so they are probably the form team just now. So um, probably that being said, I'm going to go 2-0 for Hearts. Uh, that brings me on to another one, Kilmarnock. Kilmarnock, again, really stabilised under Steve Clark. You know, they seem to be doing really, really good uh, on the pitch now, especially at Rugby Park, which was their big problem area for a long, long time. The fact that their home form was a bit shit. Uh, but they've stabilised under Steve Clark. They've hit, I think, five wins at home in the spin, which I don't know when's the last time they've done that, to be honest. But they're away from home against Motherwell today. And I am actually going to back them. I'm going to say 1 0 Kilmarnock against Motherwell. That brings me on to Hibs and Aberdeen. Now, obviously, he's okay in that Mahibi by now. Um, I do think we're good enough to get the win today. You know, I'm really, really excited to see um, the team lineup uh, team lineup today where, you know, with what team Lenny puts out today. I think it'll be really, really interesting. That being said, Aberdeen are a hugely strong team. You know, they played us off the pitch at Petaudry the last time we were there. So, I am going to go for... I'm going to go 2-1 to Hibs. 2-1 to Hibs on that one for me, guys. Brings me on to Patrick Thistle Dundee. To be honest, guys, I really think Patrick Thistle is good enough to win that. I think it's going to be 2-1 to Patrick Thistle. Uh, no, sorry, I think it'll be 1-0 to Patrick Thistle. Uh, brings me on to Hamilton and Rangers. Again, guys, I'm being honest. It can only be Rangers winning that. I'm going to be honest, I'm not great fans of Hamilton. You know, I don't see what they bring to the SPL, to be honest. Um... For me, when you get fans turning up at your home ground and the away fans are actually outnumbering the home fans, I think it's time to pack up and go home when that, that kind of thing happens. I'm not disputing that for the local communities and things like that. You know, local community, they do a lot of great work for the local community, but for me, I just didn't see what they bring to the league, to be honest with you. You know, they're the type of team that fight every season to stay in the top flight and before anybody says it yeah no it's been a wee while since Hibs beat them and everything like that but to be honest guys beating Hibs in the season doesn't mean to say that you get automatic uh, automatic uh, stay in the top flight you know you obviously have to earn that but yeah I mean I'm not de denying that they're there on merit but for me I just didn't see what they bring to the league but again that's my opinion uh, obviously they're playing Rangers playing pretty good football under, well, I say good football, playing okay football under Graham Murray, I suppose. Um, that being said, you know, a good couple of loan signings in there recently. Um, they've built in a bit of a squad, so uh, 2-0 Rangers for me, I think, on that. Uh, and the last game is Celtic against St. Johnston. I can only see Celtic winning that. Yeah, they played midweek there. Uh, against Zenit St. Petersburg, you know, I think they played them off the pitch, they should have won more than the one goal uh, that they did win by, will that be enough when they go over to Moscow, eh, uh, aye, Moscow next week, I don't know, eh, uh, or whenever they go, I didn't care, I didn't keep up with the Europa League with Hibs no being in it, so I didn't keep up with it. Um, I'm going to say 3-0 to Celtic for that. Guys, as I say, just a prediction show. I know I'm not going to get all these right, and if I did get them all right, I know that you know I'd be putting the money on at the bookies and not sitting talking on YouTube about it. But anyway, that's a different story for a different day. Uh, please, you know, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel, MoneyWinter75. Uh, please click the bell icon um, beside the subscribe button, and you will get to know when I upload. That being said, guys, please enjoy your weekend. Enjoy the football wherever you go, and uh, yeah, enjoy. Bye.